So, do you remember that dodgy chap that was harassing our marina? He's back. I'm gonna confront the chap that's been up to no good for a long time now. Here we go. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing here? Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes you've just got to take matters into your own hands, haven't you? How's it going, guys? So we're on high alert here today. I woke up this morning and I looked out and one of the shifty guys, do you remember, that was walking up and down uh, the side of the marina on the path is back. Um, I've warned a few people. He's been walking up and down, looking very unpredictable. Let's see how today goes, because I might have to have a word and just see you know, what his intentions are, what he's really up to. Boat life, here we go. So guys, do you remember that massive crack that we found in the roof of our beautiful tiny home? So here it is, the bad boy. Becca has suspected that it might not be paint, it might actually be the roof of the vessel. If you take a look from the side I'm at, you can see where it's like bulging up and it's thick. You're talking like two mil at least. And is paint normally that thick? I'm not sure. I originally thought that it was this, like a tree had fallen on the boat or something, but then other people have said that it's paint. So Water's gotten under there. That's what's causing it to bulge. So you might have to get some metal filler on that. We'll take a tiny bit off and then see what it looks like before really going for it. Yeah, I wonder if it even will come off. Bloody hell. That's not going to be still, is it? That looks to me like some kind of filler or something. It doesn't look like there's been filler put in, weirdly, like as normally you could see That is a magnet. So that sticks on there. Quite sturdy. Do you want to try? Yeah, it stops about. Ah, this has been filled up somewhere with filler. I wonder then if something has fallen on it at some point and that's yeah. how it's been repaired. It's been done well because you can't even really yeah. see. Yeah, the previous seller's hit it really well. It's done a really good job of it. That bit will just come off in one thing. I Go think on then. It's sort of... <laughs> do you mean to do that? Just watch your eyes. Bloody hell. Behold the leak. Here we go again, guys. Now what? So this is still here. Yeah, that's it. Hey, we do not have a hole in the roof. We do not have a hole in the roof. Unless the whole thing is covered in it. Sorry, isn't it? To get that really nice and smooth. Oh, I don't want to bugger up the paintwork, do I? <laughs> Just realised. Does anyone know, like, if it's common practice to sort of put any sort of coating over the top of the steel on narrow boats? That thick it is, but you'd, you'd have to cake the entire boat with some sort of filler, which just seems bizarre, doesn't it? We keep finding out all these sort of weird and wonky bonky facts about this boat, because the guy, one of the guys who originally owned it, he was so protective of it, he had all sorts of things done to preserve it. Um, that are perhaps not so common. Should I still put the aqua still on, do you reckon? Probably, because it's always going to be a vulnerable point, isn't it? I think I'd be tempted to aqua steel it, then the red oxide, and then fill it, and then maybe red oxide again, even paint? I'm not really sure. A bit more relaxed now you know the steel's under there, because before when it had the, the big split you didn't know if they just went straight down into the... It's not a hole, is it, in the boat, which is quite good. Bit of an odd one, but for those that are interested, we'll be auctioning off the remnants of the roof and all the money raised will go to the charity to allow us to go cruising this year. <laughs> That's a joke. Our best friend, Aquastil. So, give this little bad boy a shake up. And then in for the kill. And yeah, we, we normally give it one coat and then assess it in the morning. It's probably gonna be enough in fairness. Probably shouldn't get it on the rest of the boat because this stuff leaves a stain. Ugh. Yep, 
yet. We're going to let this dry overnight and then in the morning we're going to follow it up with some red oxide primer. Yeah, I'm not sure if you've actually got to put the aqua steel on if you're going to put the primer on too. Yeah, let us know if anyone knows, but uh, we've just decided to put it on just, just to be extra doubly trebly safe. So here we go, we're not messing about, no nonsense. That's why it's called red oxide. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work that out. Step one, find a knobbly old stick and stir. Step two, climb on said vessel without falling in and stroke the affected area. Step three, whack on the red oxide metal primer onto smelly, holy narrowboat. Step four, finally build up enough courage to finally interrogate dodgy guy on said towpath. Here we go. I'm going to confront the chap now because it's been up to no good for a long time now. Here we go. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is. Give us your filthy thumbs. Oh, yours is filthy. <laughs> How's it going? You're doing DIYing. <laughs> Hello, it's Narrowboat Will. Here we go, one of our favourite narrowboat channels. The one who inspired all other narrowboat channels. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> the legend. Always oh, picking me up now. <laughs> so do you guys remember when we were on our return journey back from getting the boat blacked and surveyed, we were stuck just outside Salter's Load Lock to pass through in the morning towards Denver Sluice, and these three narrowboats came charging down with complete disregard for anyone else on the network and they were coming from the wash and the middle one there yeah that's narrowboat will and yeah i'm only joking of course they're on a tidal river here and they have got no choice but to go charging through because narrowboats don't have brakes guys and they're probably absolutely shitting themselves four years you've been doing narrowboating for haven't you no the first two years i didn't um I didn't vlog anything and then I tried to fix my engine because the engine all, all the engine mounts went and then I thought I'd put a vlog on because I couldn't find anything for my engine so I started vlogging from doing just doing engine that's where the filthy thrums comes from <laughs> so I had filthy thrums all the time doing these bloody boats never stop DIY with these bloody things do you? <laughs> narrow boat narrow boat narrow boat wheel is that how I have to refer to you every time three narrow boat wheels oh, that's a beautiful job that's so wow. good. That is fantastic. I manned up and managed to climb down there. Take a little walk on. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty horrendous. And like that, he uh, disappeared somewhere on the boat and yeah, we never saw him again. Yeah, good old boy, old narrow boat Will. Only joking. Check this guy out, because his vlogs are really, really amazing. Yeah, very down to earth, very uh, what narrowboat life really is like, you know, day to day. Not all the nonsense like we do. <laughs> narrowboat Will. Narrowboat, narrowboat, narrowboat Will. Narrowboat Will. Yeah, we are still heavily into the project narrowboat side of things, but we can't wait to join Will as continuous cruisers. Yeah, the amount of the network that Will has covered over the past four years is pretty incredible. And we were heading to his for a tour. Yeah, we've been in touch a little bit uh, through the comments on YouTube and yeah, he just popped his ugly, filthy little thumb up next to our marina and thought he'd come to say hi. Yeah, it was all, all, all a bit random really, but what a pleasure. Plenty of solar on there. It's gonna be nice seeing a boat which is livable. My boat was like yours right, yeah, so chaotic. That bedroom there, this bedroom here was like, he had um, bunk beds. This stuff here, lot. It doesn't look like there's a lot of areas for spiders, which is good. Oh, there's loads in here, mate. Is there? Yeah, under here, you get a few little little oh, areas. Oh, they're, yeah, loads under there. That's their home. Yeah. They love it. All this wood was black because it's been over the years of not being cared for. So I sanded it all down, varnished it, then I painted it. But it still stood the wood grain, which I wanted oh, to keep. Yeah, the bathroom is amazing. I love it. I did the doors, I've smashed the tiles down. This is what I think we should get, is a door on a runner. Yeah, like that. Well, that's clever. Yeah. yeah. But it was like yours. Honestly, it was like yours. I put a new radiator in. We've got an Audi boiler. You said one gas bottle a week, didn't you? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Like you, I put a new kitchen in. This is in lockdown because I was near a Wix in Oxford. This is lovely. It's so no idea. homely. But it's all, it was all black, all the window frames, I had to, I had to varnish all those, they're all completely black. 
I did it all on the side of the canal. I didn't stain any marinas. The fort entered to steal a smelly souvenir wheel sock. What's the size of this boat? 57. Fort terminated. So ours is longer actually, but you saw yours seems to have like, more space. More space yeah, yeah. It feels like it, doesn't it? So I've used all the space possible. I want, wanted one of these in there really. And now one. I, I do like the little sort of dine it oh, things. Yeah. The floor moves so much. Something wrong with the floor now. Oh, yeah. To the floor. Spongy, yeah. Don't get a decent push by, they get robbed <laughs> straight away. <Yeah. laughs> It'd be nice for some of the viewers to sort of see a nice boat for a change. <laughs> well, it wasn't, it was, it was the same as yours, it was chaotic. Dual alternators, soundproof in there. The old better engine. Yeah, be different. The <laughs> Watch Narrowboat Wheel. Watch Narrowboat Wheel, you haven't got a choice. He's rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. See you later, guys. Take care. And there you have it, the living legend, Narrowboat Will. So who would have thought all along that strange, homeless individual that was lurking around the marina actually turned out to be Narrowboat Will? And I was told the other night by a narrowboater that if you live on a narrowboat, you are actually classed as homeless. So yeah, he's homeless. And so are we. Okay, let's try and fill up that hole on the roof. Fresh new adult gloves, the black edition, as manly as it gets in Merigold land. They're not actually marigolds, they're just working gloves. I mean, that is one way to downplay the glove, isn't it? Okay. Should be about right, shouldn't it? And we found this on the boat when we purchased it. The yard enough. You know how I feel about that? Oh, that looks old. That looks really old. Eef. It's not looking too good, guys. But we'll give the little bugger a mix and we'll see how far we can get. Looks bloody old, but here we go. Okay, so it's not even open. The uh, outside coating of this was literally coming off in my hands. Anything coming out? I mean... Oh God, that's... Uh, it's all old. Look at that. Okay, so on the hunt for marine filler. I mean, do you see marine filler around a lot? I wouldn't know. I don't normally do these sort of shops. So no marine filler in screw fix. I think it's a little bit something that's a little bit more sought after. So screw fix haven't got any marine filler either. It looks like it could be one of these things that you sort of got to look up on the internet for. So they're really helpful in there. They're great. A bloody nuisance, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing severe easy, is it? That's frustrating, guys. In this episode, for once, I wanted to try and get one job done from start to finish. So we saw we had the crack on the roof and my plan was we were going to completely treat it, seal it and repaint it all in the episode. Because, you know, otherwise it's just odds and sods like in every other episode and people struggle sometimes to keep up to date with it. But as you can see, the marine um, filler is old. It could be 10, 20 years old, couldn't it? We're going to have a look on the internet, I think, and order one up and that, that might take a few weeks to turn up. You don't know with these things, do you? So yeah, there you go. I tried for you guys. I tried. Maybe in the next episode. Okay, like, subscribe, smash that horrible little bell and we'll see you in the next one.